हेलो गाइस, दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम देहरादून टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन मेक अ व्हीकल एक्सीडेंटल अलर्ट सिस्टम विद जीएसएम एंड जीपीएस। सो लेट्स गो टू डिजाइन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी नीड द फॉलोइंग कंपोनेंट्स आर डी नो और कस्टमाइज एट मेगा थ्री बोर्ड एक्सेलोमीटर ए डी एक्सएल और थ्री फोर फाइव नियो सिम 800L हंड्रेड एल जी एस एम मॉड्यूल फायर सेंसर फाइव वोल्ट बजर ब्रेड बोर्ड एंड फ्यू जम्पर वायर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन द प्रोग्रामिंग कोड आफ्टर दैट वी विल कनेक्ट द हार्डवेयर सो गो टू द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड क्लिक ऑन द गिवन लिंक टू डाउनलोड द प्रोग्राम वंस यू क्लिक ऑन द लिंक यू विल रीडायरेक्ट टू द गेट हाउ वेबसाइट हेयर क्लिक ऑन द कोड बटन एंड then click on the download zip once downloaded go to the location where we downloaded the file here you got the zip folder with the name vehicle accident alert using gps and gsm so right click on it and click on extract here to extract it you will get the extracted folder with the same name if you don't have winzip or winra software to extract it then the link is available in the video description you can download it from there so now go inside the folder and open the arduino program in the program we take x y and z as a constant integer type variable and put a0 a1 and a2 on them as we are going to connect the accelerometer x y and z pins to the boards a0 a1 and a2 pins and we have taken xv yv and zv integer type variables to store the value of accelerometers x y and z pins below we include the gps header file after it we include the software serial header file because by default we have only one serial port in the board we need more than one serial port to connect gps and gsm so we are using the software serial library below we define gps as a tiny gps variable to pass the gps value below we define the gps serial port by using gps port in 2 and 3 pin numbers right here we have taken sz as 32 byte character type array to store the date and time that we are decoding from the gps below we have defined fr as 10 because we will connect the output pin of fire sensor to 10 number pin of our customized board or arduino uno and we have taken fv integer to store the fire sensor data we have also taken a 5 volt buzzer and connected it to the 10 number pin so that when any alert will be generated alarm will begin we have taken latitude and longitude as a float type to store latitude and longitude data that we decode from gps now in the setup function we have defined the buzzer pin mode as an output and put it in low mode so that it will alert only while any emergency will happen we have begun the serial port and gps port at 9600 baud rate after the delay of 2000 millisecond we call the init gsm function that we defined below this function will initialize the gsm in text mode in the loop function we call the encode gps function that will encode the gps data from the raw data fire function that will sense the fire and adxl function to measure the accelerometer gesture all of these functions we define below in the program this is the fire sms function we make this function especially to send sms if a fire event will occur so inside it first we begin the buzzer as a fire alarm after it we send add command to test the connection of the gsm modem after it we send the add plus cmgf equal to 1 command to set the gsm to text mode so that we can send the text message after it we send the add plus cmgs command with the mobile number in which we want to send the message so replace this number with your 1 below we write the car fire alarm at after it we just make a customized google map link for sms so that we can directly trace the location of the incident in google map via this link 
after it we write the latitude and longitude for the location and sz for the date and time that we decode from the gps after it we write the car 26 to send the sms at last we switch off the buzzer this is the complete sms sending at command set for any sms alert in the similar way we create the accident alert function to send message while any accident will happen with our vehicle or overturn all the commands are same but you need to change the mobile number here we also change the text here as car accident alert other commands are the same as in the fire sms in the encode gps function we just start the timer for the gps to get the data every second and if the gps module has connected properly then we take a as a character type and store the gps raw data in it if we got good signal strength then we encode the value from a variable and pass that value to the get gps function and guys this is very important then you must know how to calibrate the gps and decode it otherwise you are not getting the data of gps so the link is available in the video description you can see our video on how to calibrate and decode the gps this is the get gps function where we receive the gps encoded data inside it we decode the latitude and longitude using the predefined gps f get position function available in the gps library and here we call the print date function to decode the date and time from the gps in the init gsm function we just test the gsm connection using at command and set the gsm to text mode using the at plus cmgf equal to one command in the adxl function we read the x y and z pin analog values and store them in xv yv and zv variables that we defined at the starting of the program we calibrate the accelerometer and evaluate the minimum and maximum tilt values for both x and y axis every accelerometer provides different values for the x y and z axis so first of all we need to calibrate the accelerometer and get the raw values so you need to see our another video where you can understand the calibration of the accelerometer link is available in the video description after calibrating the accelerometer we define here as if the xv value is less than 280 or greater than 380 and if the yv value is less than 280 or greater than 380 that means our car or vehicle got overturned then we will call the accident sms function that will alert through the message as well as through the buzzer right now in the fire function we store the fire sensor value to fv variable if we got the high that means fire detected then we call the fire sms function that will send a message and alert the nearby using a buzzer now in the print date function where we got the data that we passed through the gps function we define the year as integer and date time and related variable as byte below we define the age as unsigned long now we decode the date and time using the predefined function gps crack date time if we are not getting the valid data then we do nothing and if we got the complete data then we store that data to sz character type array we use the sz array to write the date and time in the sms and at last i just forgot to add the piezo pressure sensor program in it but i will add it and add the code for the pressure sensor if you want to use a piezo sensor with your hardware then open the commented line in the downloaded programming code i will also add the piezo sensor in the circuit diagram and explain the need of the piezo sensor on this project so our program has been completed let's upload this program to our board so this is our customized board i have connected it with a programmer to upload the program now go to the tools click on the board and select arduino genuino uno our customized board works as an arduino uno you can use arduino uno again go to the tools and click on the board and select com9 as i do now click on the upload button to upload the program to your board it's done now time to connect the hardware with your board so this is the circuit diagram you need to connect your hardware according to this circuit 
I have also added the circuit of the piezo sensor with it. Link is available in the video description. You can download it from there. So this is a breadboard and this is our customized 8 mega 328 board that is compatible with Arduino IDE and works as Arduino Uno. Why I do always use customized board for the project? Because our customized board has lots of 5 volt VCC and ground pins so that you can connect number of sensors on it. Arduino have one such kind of facility in their boards. Okay. This is ADXL335 which provides 3 axis analog data. It has 5 pins VCC, X, Y, Z and ground. This is GPS Neo which provides serial data. It has 4 pins VCC, RX, TX and ground. This is a SIM 800L GSM module. We are using it here to send SMS in any emergency situation. It has 6 pins starting from the bottom, ground, TX, RX, reset, VCC and the topmost is antenna where we have already attached an antenna you can see. And this is a fire sensor. Actually I don't have a fire sensor so I made a fire sensor by removing IR from the IR sensor module. But it works the same. You must use the fire sensor that provides the active high while sensing the fire. Right? At last this is a 5 volt buzzer. It has two pins VCC and ground. Let's connect them. So first I place the accelerometer on the board. Take a few jumper wires. Connect the VCC to 5 volt and ground to ground of your Arduino board. Connect the X, Y and Z pin of the accelerometer to A0, A1 and A2 number pins of your board. Now place GPS on the breadboard. We need only three pins to connect GPS to our board. Take jumper wires and connect VCC to 5 volt and ground pin of GPS to ground pin of your board. Now connect the TX pin of GPS to the two number pin of your Arduino board. Now place the SIM 800 module on the breadboard. Note it guys, use only this SIM 800L GSM module as shown in the image here. There are lots of SIM 800 module available in the market but how do you identify the suitable one? You can identify it by this capacitor. It has a number 107 by which you can identify the SIM 800L module that works with 5 volt. All other SIM 800 module works with 3.7 volt to 4.5 volt. We require only 3 pins of GSM module to connect the board. So we take 3 jumper wires and connect VCC to 5 volt and ground of GSM to the ground pin of your board. Now connect the RX pin of the GSM module to one number pin of your Arduino board. We are using default serial pins for the GSM module. Connect the fire sensor now. Take three jumper wires and connect VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground and D0 or digital output pin of fire sensor to 10 number pin of Arduino board. Now connect the buzzer. This green wire is ground so connect it to the ground and the red wire to 9 number pin of Arduino board. And as I already said, I don't have a piezo sensor. So if you want to use it, then you need to make a circuit like shown in the circuit diagram and use one mega ohm register between VCC and ground pin of piezo sensor. Connect the VCC pin of piezo sensor to A4 number pin of Arduino and ground pin to ground. That's all. By the way, what is the use of piezo sensor? This piezo sensor is used in the place of bump sensor that is used in vehicles. While any accident will happen, the bump sensor will open the airbags and protect the passengers. While we put pressure on the piezo sensor, it provides us with the increased analog value. And at this point, we will take action and send alert messages. Now it's time to do live testing of our project. Power up your project for 10 to 15 minutes so that GPS can fetch the complete data. How do you know the GPS is working or not? Check the GPS LED. This LED will start glowing every second once it's calibrated. You can also see our video on the GPS calibration. Link is available in the video description. And what about the GSM module? In the GSM module, if LED is glowing every second then there is no signal in the module 
and if the gsm led will start glowing every 3 second that means the gsm module is working or you can check the module by calling on the number that is available in the gsm module i am using a vodafone idea sim card on the gsm module and you can see the gps is also working and the led is glowing let's start the demo with the fire sensor as you can see the sensor sends the fire and buzzer start alarming this time the gsm module must send sms and as you can hear the buzzer is off now that means our board sends all the commands to the gsm module so that it can send sms and yes as you can see we have got the message let's open the message you can see we have the car fire alert message with google map link with date and time click on the link it will redirect us to the google map and wow we got the location marked in the google map we can also see the location by zooming on the google map now check the accelerometer i am tilting the breadboard to the one direction so that the accelerometer can generate alert as defined in the program as you can see the buzzer start alarming and it's off now we must receive the sms soon and we got the message as you can see we have got the message of car accident alert with google map link click on the link and open it with google map again we got the exact location you can see it by zooming on the google map so guys this is how you can make a vehicle accident alert project with gps and gsm you can also use pressure sensor thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and videos and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest update of our video if you have any query or suggestion write it in the comment box below so stay tuned for our next video